Hey everyone, I want to talk about this spreadsheet I made two years ago when I first got into Bitcoin and I took some financial uh, you know formulas that they use to do price projections over years and this is kind of what I what it, what's here uh, now obviously this is not financial advice because I don't do that for a living and you shouldn't trust a, a spreadsheet on the internet to make investment decisions anyway but it's just cool to see based on the year, you know, two year growth average and or gr growth per those two years and um, the average is over every year so how does this break down let's go over uh, this page here so this document uses the equation for annual growth percentage over multiple years you can look that up on the internet and you'll get the same formula this equation is P equals and then a bunch of stuff that I'm not gonna say out loud. I'll probably get it wrong, but I took this formula and I applied it to Google Sheets. P is the price, uh, current price. F, uh, sorry, P is price, which price will equal. F is the current price. S is the Bitcoin price from two years ago, and Y is the number of years, which is two in this case. Um, so S is the Bitcoin price from Y. We have close, which is the price at the end of the day exactly two years ago. And this is automated by Google Sheets, so you can put in um, stocks in Google Sheets and be like, I want this stock, but they also have Bitcoin in there, so that's pretty cool. Actual is the price on December 31st of each year as displayed from Google Sheets, uh, where they pull from. The projection is the price after each calculation, year over year. And the averages averages have been calculated ahead of time, um, but I don't have all of the years in the spreadsheets because it slows Google Sheets down, and I just don't want to have a slow sheet because this is on the internet. People can access it. I posted on Reddit a few uh, two years ago, and uh, some people 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 enjoyed it. So I'm gonna keep it low. So right now I have 2017 averages that are being calculated. And I have 2018 average sheet, uh, which is empty as you can see because we're not there yet. Um, I had this already on here just so when the everything switches over to 2018, I don't have to like jump in here real quick and make it. 2017 averages, as you see, we have all of this here, and we don't have November or December yet because it doesn't exist. October is literally, what, two days? So, you know, take it with a grain of salt. And just so you know, and these quotes are not, are, are not sourced from all the markets that exist out there and it may take 20 minutes to get the current price on these sheets just what Google Sheets does uh, how they pull the information uh, and this information is provided as is and solely for informational purposes only and not for trading purposes or advice as I said earlier so what does this show this shows well here's current this is the current price of Bitcoin as of within the last 20 minutes or so here is the close price that it was two years ago on today so at the end of day close price, which is let's say it was a 24 hour thing, but if you would go on to a trading chart and you go back two years ago and you say, what's today's close, like October 2nd of two years ago, what's the close price? It'd be that. Um, we're doing two years. Uh, I, I did this two years because at the time there, I just didn't have a lot of information to work with, so I had to do two years, so I haven't changed that, but I might change it in the future. And growth per year, growth over year, is how much growth we've seen in the last two years based on the current price now and the closed price exactly two years ago. You have 2012 through 2016 and here we have you know, 13, 700, 300, 400. Uh, and, uh, as I said I got into Bitcoin in 2014, uh, 2015 sorry, uh, so you know I wasn't, if I will, a little bit sooner. It's, it's always funny to see like when I learned about Bitcoin I spent so much time learning about it before I even bought a single fraction of Bitcoin. I wanted to know all about it. And once I once I understood it, it just was like, whoa. And so I started uh, started dabbling and I got so obsessed with it. I made this sheet. So um, this is saying that 2018 is projected to hit 18,000. It's obvious it's not gonna hit that, but is it unlikely that it could hit that in 2018? I don't know. We'll have a more accurate as time goes on we get more and more accurate projections based on the two-year growth over here on this on these columns here we have the averages and this is more realistic um, even though this seems like okay like the average is 2,000 but we're already up here past 4,000 
and this is the average projection for 2030. Again, it's just a it's just a chart. It's a spreadsheet. It just is not made for like, oh, it's gonna be six quadrillion dollars in 2040. So let's pull my life savings into that. That's silly. It's it's this is here really for informational purposes and, and entertain myself making it. And I love looking at it to see like, what could it possibly be one day? It's just it's so awesome to see. But so years average. This is calculated from the spreadsheets right here, 2017 spreadsheet. That's his price right here. The average over this entire year is $2,737.70 as of now. And the projection, so it's projecting that we will end the year, we'll close the year with an average of $2,824.67. And this average is, this growth average is 3.8%. Uh, this is based on all of these, as you can see back here, it's all very close. There's not much change in these prices. This is a huge jump. And this kind of should signal like either there's getting a lot more people involved in it and the technology is taking off faster or we're in some kind of bubble. I don't know. I'm not a financial expert. I have no idea. I just like looking at the prices. So what happens if we change something here? So this is all calculated based um, on the years and this average percent and this percent you just saw it change because it updated in the sheets on this 2017 sheet updated and this is all calculated based on these numbers here so if we change this is a multi-year graph uh, multi-year formula so if I, I can change it to anything two years or, old, or older or higher uh, but putting one year in wouldn't work there's a different formula for like within a single year's growth and I didn't do that. This this made more sense to me when I made it at the time. But I can change this. So, two years ago was 2014. Well, what if we do five years ago when it was $13? That would obviously change the price of things, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? If we do five, we get a much different number. Interesting, right? So current price is this. Close price exactly five years ago was $12.89, and we end up with a closing price in 2017 of a uh, fourteen thousand eighty six dollars and thirty two cents and we get twenty twenty just under five hundred thousand dollars twenty twenty one costing a million and it doesn't really change the averages it changes the percent went from three percent to one percent or just over one percent but you can see this doesn't change too much because uh, these are averages over the entire year I took every single day you can, you can see right here if I pull this down it's every single day that there's information uh, Whatever information that Google is pulling from doesn't have every day for some reason. So again, this is a you know grain of salt, but I have it asking for all every day. All right, and so yeah, that's kind of how that's kind of how that works. You, uh, you can I can change it if you want to take this. You can make a copy of it. I will link it somewhere on this page, or no matter where, wherever you're watching. I don't know where you're watching this at. But I'll link this somewhere and you guys can make a copy of it and you can mess with it and see what happens. I find it interesting that making the growth the years bigger, uh, the years bigger, more years kind of changes the price. It, it almost seems more realistic. Like obviously like hitting 14,000 by this year is going to be, it sounds really far projected, but it doesn't seem far fetched for next year and next year, right? Because we saw so much growth and we can see so much more. Whereas I had had used two in the past because I only had two years of data to work with. I was started in 2015, so I did two. All right, well, if we do three, we'll see again. It changes a little bit more. Three years is even is even more different. So three years ago it was 2014, and we're getting uh, $319.86 is where it ended on that year. This is this number comes from the number of the. December 31st close number for this is all US dollars and I don't know when Google does close probably West Coast time uh, but that's what the number number gets and here it is even this is even more seems more realistic like could we see ten thousand dollars Bitcoin in 20, 2017 maybe not it's not, it seems unlikely but we could totally see it next year and 23,000 2018 like these, these seems very reasonable numbers and we still change it to four see what happens here Change it to four. We get again similar pricing here: ten thousand, twenty-six thousand. We won't hit hit a million dollars in twenty twenty, which uh, twenty twenty-two, which is 
it's it's cool. It's a cool it's a cool graph. It's cool or not graph. It's a cool chart. I didn't make any graphs. You can again take this and make your own graphs for it. Uh, but it's I just want to share this with you guys. I think you guys might like it. You might enjoy messing around with the dates and stuff and seeing how how it works. Uh, if you post this anywhere, just you know give me credit because I did put a lot of work into this. I had to learn what the formula meant to make it work in sheets, and that's a pain in the butt. Uh, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. If you can, you can see here that you know, Bitcoin has been growing, and if it continues to grow, we're gonna see some pretty astronomical numbers at some time in the future. Probably not on the dates that it says here. I mean, we probably won't see a million dollars by 2022, but who's saying we 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 won't? Some people are projecting much higher prices uh, than that. Uh, or still, well, some people are saying we'll see this price in 2020, which again, like I'm saying, it seems a little bit of a stretch, but I also understand that this is a new technology, and as a new technology, is it a bubble, or is it just people ad adopting this technology, and I think it's more likely to be the second than the first, but then again, I don't know financial markets, I don't know what it, what you know all the stuff means, I just know Bitcoin's a really cool technology, and all the altcoins are cool technology, um, I think I'll take this and make one for Ethereum. I don't know how many years of data there are for Ethereum on like whatever Google's pulling from for these spreadsheets. But if you want to see that, let me know in the comments uh, wherever it is you're watching this, and uh, I'll kind of tally it up, see if it's a thing that people want to see, and I'll make it. Uh, but guys, thanks so much for watching. If you like this, please subscribe on whatever channel. You subscribe or follow. I don't know where you're watching this. This is everywhere. Yeah. So thanks for watching. Peace.